guys, Namaste. Welcome to Ankimish Creations. In this video, we are going to paint t-shirts in a very different way. Come, let's have a look. So let's get started. For making this cute Mickey t-shirt, we will need fabric colors, paint brushes and two different sizes of bottle caps or lid. Insert a cardboard or a cardstock paper inside the t-shirt because sometimes the paint does seep through the layers and this will protect it. Now I am taking green, blue and yellow fabric paints on a big flat brush like this and making colorful blocks like this on t-shirt. Repeat this process by taking more paint in between until you make enough blocks as you want on your t-shirt. This painting technique will give unsymmetric and interesting shapes in each and every block you will paint. Cool, huh? For the last line, I am taking blue and yellow paint only so that yellow highlights more. By the way, this shades looks little bit faded due to filming lights. Well, this is the real look. Now we will use this lid and bottle caps for stamping Mickey's face when this background blocks has dried completely. Dab a little bit thick layer of paint on this lid to stamp the color nicely on t-shirt. If the stamp does not come out perfectly at once, then go ahead and add some more paint to the lid and repeat the process with some extra hand pressure. Ta-da! Now we'll do the same thing with bottle caps to stamp Mickey's ears. Applying gold paint to the edge of this lid or caps for making an imperfect border to the stamps. We are done with our cute Mickey t-shirt, so let's move on to the next one. For making this string photo hanging t-shirt, we will need fabric paints, paint brushes, pair of scissors, pencil, cutter, cardboard and cloth pins. Insert a cardstock paper as we did earlier. Now using a long thin paint brush and black paint, I am making a string like this and then giving it another coat of paint for making it darker. Adding another string here. Now I am using a cloth pin to stamp its print on this string. Two layers of stamp will be needed for more opacity. These stamps are looking so cute, isn't it? After finishing the cloth pin stamping, paint its other side as well to get a colorful cloth pin. Bingo! Now take a cardboard and draw a connecting triangle and square like this and this doesn't have to be perfect. Take a pair of scissors and cut it out. On this line, make a slight cut with cutter. As you can see, this could be folded like this due to the cut. So the square part will act as a handle to stamp triangle part like this. Take white paint and dab it on this triangle part and then we will stamp it below the cloth pin stamp. Like I am doing here. Apply more paint for each and every stamp. Now in this triangles, I am making flowers but you can make any design or pattern you want. For 
For making this t-shirt more colorful, using the back side of the brush and making some polka dots on it. And we are done with this pretty colorful t-shirt. As for the instructions on my paints, I will have to let these t-shirts dry flat for 4 hours and then these t-shirts could be washed after 72 hours turning it inside out. I hope you like this video. If you try any of them, don't forget to share pictures with us on our social media. You may explore our website for more craft fun. All links are given in the description box below. If you want to see more craft and DIY videos like this, don't forget to click the subscribe button. I'll see you soon. Bye. Love being creative.